How to pool mine Bitcoin Gold with NVIDIA and AMD GPUs. Here I am at BitcoinGold.org. If I scroll down, I can see that it uses Equihash and is GPU mineable. If I scroll down further, I'll find the pools that you can mine on. I'm going to be mining on Pool.Gold, the official Bitcoin Gold mining pool. It's currently in testnet, so I'm going to click on testnet mining. That takes me to the mining pool, minepool.gold. I'll click on getting started. It gives me two options, one for Claymore's AMD miner and one for EWBF's CUDA miner and video miner. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to go into the folder here and edit the batch file. In the batch file, you can see that all that they've done is put in their pool, address, and port. All that I have to do is change the wallet address. I'm going to use a Bitcoin address here and change the worker name. I'll use 1070. So that's it. I'm going to save it, close it, and double click on the start batch file to launch the miner. Now I'm mining Bitcoin Gold testnet. You can see it picks up all eight of my 1070s and starts mining. So if I want to see how my miner is doing, I can click on Worker Stats, paste in my address, and click Lookup. This will show me how my miner is doing on the pool. You can see 1070. Shows you my hash rate, difficulty, shares, and how much I've earned. So currently this is just testnet, it's not real coins. Once the mainnet launches, you can mine real coins. Alternatively, I could use supernova.cc. They also have Bitcoin Gold testnet. I'm going to close the miner, backtrack out of there and go into EWBFC cache miner. I'll click on start mining, log in. Now I need to create a worker, so I'm going to go to my account, my workers. Here I'm going to create a worker. Worker name I'll use 1070 and worker password I'll use NVIDIA. Click on add new worker and my worker has been added. Here is the testnet port, pool and port. So I'll go and open the supernova batch file and I'm going to change the details in here. First I'll change the pool, so I'll copy that btg.supernova.cc, paste it over the Zcash pool, then I'll change the port, I'll change the port to 8816, and then I'll change my username, CryptoMind, my worker name, 1070, and change the password to NVIDIA. That's it. Now I'll save the file, close it, double click on the batch file, and launch the miner. It's as easy as mining Zcash, it's really no different, just different pool, different addresses, and that's about it. If I go to help and getting started, you can see that the mainnet will probably be on a different port. So keep that in mind, you might have to change ports once it does switch from testnet to mainnet. I'll go to my dashboard. I can view my miner's progress. You can see here it does pick up my miner. Shows me my balance. And shows me how my miner's doing. 
Here is an AMD rig, eight five eighties. I'll go on miningpool.gold and I've already got the Claymore miner downloaded here. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to edit the configuration file. You can see here that they put their pool in again and port and address. I'm going to backtrack out of here and just go into the normal Claymore's miner, 12.6. Edit the configuration file again. I'm going to copy the pool from the Bitcoin Gold miner, paste it into the original Zcash Claymore's miner. Then I'm going to take this Bitcoin address and copy that over the Zcash address. Add a worker name, 580. Everything else will stay the same, except for I will be using the all pools one switch. So that's it. I'll save the batch file, close it, and then double click on the start batch file to launch the miner. Picks up all eight of my GPUs. I can go to worker stats again. Enter in my address that I'm using, click lookup. And it shows me how my miner is doing. You can see the miner down there, 580. Very simple, again, same as mining Zcash, really no different. They didn't really do anything special. All that they did was to fork Bitcoin. Change the algorithm from SHA-256 to EchoHash. And that's Bitcoin Gold. So alternatively, again, I could use supernova.cc. I'll click on Start Mining. Log in again. Now I'm logged in. I'll go to my account, my workers, and I'll create a new worker. I'm going to name this one 580 and password AMD. Click on add new worker. My worker has been added. Up here you can see the testnet pool and port, btg.supernova.cc, port 8816. I'll go ahead and edit the configuration file. I'm going to copy the pool and port, and paste it over the pool and port in the configuration file. I'm going to change the address to my username, CryptoMind. The worker is the same, 580. I'll change the password from Z to AMD. And that's it. All pools is already on. I'll save the file, close it, double click on the start batch file, and that will launch the miner. I'll go to my dashboard. On the dashboard, I can see the progress of my miner. It does pick up my miner. It's mining away. So that's it. Really simple. Most of you already know how to mine Zcash, and this is really no different. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.